So Matthew, I come to seek your expert advice on how to actually properly savor a glass of gin instead of just getting drunk with it. Yes, so wasting it. Exactly. Yeah, my challenge accepted. First of all, you need to know what, what, what kind of gin you, you're dealing with. Like, for instance, this antidote gin is a London dry gin because there's different style of gin. Okay, so what are the different I mean, usually you have your London dry. So which uh, is this? Yeah, which is this very citrusy, fresh, dry. But you have things called old ton. So it's a bit more sweet, sometimes dark, a little bit more sugary. Barrel infused gin. So that's gin that I've seen time in wood barrel yeah. you have things like contemporary engine that use be more crazy different ingredients like seaweed cucumber oh yeah we have some here at winery <laughs> yeah. so, yeah. cucumber. so that's you you need to know what type of uh, gin you you're dealing with or how do you think you will you will approach it uh, I would think you said it's somewhat similar to wine yeah. right so I guess Tasting it would also be similar to wine to go similar. through the five S's. Five S's. Use the glass that can be similar to you know a wine glass. Swirl, Swirl <laughs> to smell. release the aroma. Oh, yeah. Smell, but not too close. That's something oh, okay. with uh, with gin uh, and spirit in general. Uh, it's like you get punched in the face. Yeah, if you go too close, you're gonna have the fumes of the okay, alcohol, okay. and it's gonna. Uh, uh, you know, your noise is going to be a bit burned out and you're not going to be able to smell anything. So go gradually, gradually towards the, the glass. The same as with wine, you just swallow it, you put it in your, in your mouth. Yeah, savor. You, yeah, savor it. You, you let the gin sit in your mouth for some time. Yeah, and the temperature of the gin also is important. A uh, too hot temperature, it's, it's not going to be so nice. So uh, room temperature or slightly chill it's definitely the, the way to do it but that also really depends with the type of gin maybe it's time for us to try it yeah, show me try. How, how i'm supposed to be savoring it actually oh who closed this bottle <laughs> drink, drink. Oh, God. like a good pour would be 25 ml like a single shot let's say yeah yeah that's that's more than enough See, so clear gin. You look for when you look at the gin, you look for uh, tinges, viscosity. Oh, yeah, okay, so yeah. It's quite watery and it comes out of the quite quickly on the yeah. edge of the, of the glass. So they indicate it's not too rich, not too strong, not too sweet. Then you smell it. Like I, said, I always start with quite far. Oh yeah, this is I think a bit far and mm. it's already so it's like a fresh gin. You know, fresh citrusy. You can go. You can introduce some sweetness, some fruits. Mm -hmm some like a sugary tonic no problem what are we getting right now like well, something you, you citrusy this, uh, something lemony yeah lemony uh, juniper caraway cumin some kind of like cumin spice i mean you get definitely a boozy alcohol vibe to it yeah you okay <laughs> You can drink it on its own, yeah. but uh, it's probably not the best gin in the world to drink on its own. This is more a gin that's suited for mixing. So this one for me will be gin and tonic all day long. Yeah. There are different types of gin. Yeah. They're all different, yeah. but no matter what, it's kind of the same process of tasting. Yeah. It's going to be the same tasting no matter what kind of bottle I have. The best way to understand your gin is to test it neat for sure. The drier the gin, uh, the more uh, sweetness you can incorporate in your in your mixing drinks. Dry gin, sweet tonic, no problem. If you had a sweeter gin, like an old Tom gin, a dry a dry tonic water would be nice. So pretty much, it's really flexible. Very versatile, yeah. And that is something I am very happy to hear yeah. with you. And I guess now I'm so excited to try more types yeah. of gin, yeah. which by the way, are available at winery.ph. You can come visit us at the Global Cellar Dory here at Chino Rosses or visit our website. Yeah, we do have a quite comprehensive range of jeans, so feel free to come and visit us. And uh, it was a pleasure talking to you. Till the next drink. Cheers. Cheers.